if a person is mm -hmm. being handcuffed, officers are specifically trained to put a knee across the shoulder blade of the suspect to the trapezius, is that what it's called? Tra yeah, trapezoid, yeah. Something that... Yeah, sure, I'm not a medical doctor. <laughs> yeah. Um, and that is routinely trained by the Minneapolis Police Department, both in terms of the academy as well as the, um, as well as in service. Situationally, yes. You were asked a series of questions about whether this is an, a, appears to be a trained Minneapolis uh, neck restraint. Yes, I was asked that. And you said no, no. correct? Correct. But it is, you, you, you had hedged a little bit and said it may be some other training. Perhaps. What would that training be? Uh, using body weight to control. Um, however, I will add that we don't, we tell officers to stay away from the neck when possible. And if you're going to use body weight to pin, to put it on their shoulder and, and be mindful of position. An officer can continue to hold a person in a neck restraint after rendering someone unconscious? Hold somebody? Yes. And for a period of time, correct? Yes, sir. You can have your arm around their neck for a period of time, yes. And there would be circumstances that would affect an officer's decision on whether to hold that person in that position for some period of time, correct? Yes, sir. That would include maybe waiting for other officers to arrive? Yes, sir. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.